Welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Dr. Priyanka Ahuja and today I'm going to talk about link between childhood body size and premenstrual disorders. Maintaining a normal body mass in childhood may be considered for lowering the burden of premenstrual disorders in adulthood, based on the latest research published in JAMA Network Open. Emerging data suggests that more than two-thirds of premenstrual disorders, including premenstrual syndrome and premenstrual dysphoric disorder, have symptom onset during the teen years. Adulthood adiposity has been associated with premenstrual disorders. However, the association with childhood and adolescent body size is unknown. Premenstrual disorders include premenstrual syndrome and premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which is a more disabling form predominated by psychological symptoms and accompanied by impaired social functioning. Both cross-sectional and prospective studies indicate that adulthood adiposity is positively associated with premenstrual disorders. However, such association may be attributable to obesity present already in childhood. Indeed, several cross-sectional studies have found that young girls with premenstrual disorders have a higher body mass index than those without premenstrual disorders. However, premenstrual food craving and appetite changes are core symptoms of premenstrual disorders. And it is possible that higher BMI may be a consequence of premenstrual symptoms rather than a contributor. In a prospective cohort study, Dungao Liu et al. tried to examine the association between childhood and adolescent body size and the risk of premenstrual disorders in young adulthood. This prospective cohort study included 6,524 female participants from the Growing Up Today study. Data were analyzed from February 26, 2020 to June 23, 2021. Body mass index was estimated using self-reported height and weight through adolescents and converted to BMI for age. The researchers found that baseline BMI for age reported at a mean age of 12.7 years was associated with an increased risk of premenstrual disorders. The other findings are as follows. Associations were particularly pronounced for premenstrual dysphoric disorder and for premenstrual disorders with a symptom onset before 20 years of age and remained in the absence of psychiatric comorbidities, including depression, anxiety, and disordered eating behavior. When analyzing BMI change over time, individuals with high BMI throughout adolescence had a higher burden of premenstrual symptoms compared with those with normal BMI throughout adolescence. Individuals with high BMI early followed by a mild decrease later did not report higher premenstrual symptoms. The authors concluded by saying that the findings of this cohort study suggest that childhood adiposity is associated with higher risk of premenstrual disorders and a higher burden of premenstrual symptoms in young adulthood. If this association is confirmed in independent populations, maintaining a normal body mass in childhood may be considered for preventing the development of a range of future health hazards in young adults including premenstrual disorders. Thank you and stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for further updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.